I just finished reading um, Rick Thomas's um, book. I believe it's called uh, A Poor Priest for the Poor. Um, he is um, an excellent example of having radical love for the poor. He dedicated his entire life um, to serving the poor. Um, but he said um, that the that the poor need the rich, and the rich need the poor. And he said that the that the poor um, need our resources and our financial um, stability um, and our education. But the rich also need the poor because it's the only way they're going to get to heaven. And when you think about it, and when you review the Gospels and reread the Gospels and listen to the Gospel stories, where do we find Jesus? We find him all the time with the poor, um, with the sick, with the outcasted, and with the sinners. Um, and with, with being a missionary and having that missionary heart, that's, that's exactly where we desire to be. We desire to love like Christ and, and to pour out everything He gives us, everything He fills our heart, hearts up with. We, we desire to pour that out onto those that we meet. And we couldn't do that without the benefactors supporting us. We, we wouldn't be in country. We wouldn't be talking about St. Mary Magdalene's home. We wouldn't be living in, in Peru as full-time missionaries without our benefactors. We don't have jobs. We're not allowed to work in Peru. We're there on a religious visa. As missionaries with Family Mission Company, we, we left our jobs. Um, most of us sold everything or gave it away to go into missions to serve Jesus' beloved poor. And so without the ones that have the talents, without the ones that have the resources to support us, we wouldn't be there. We wouldn't be able to have compassion and mercy and be on the front lines with the poor if it wasn't for our benefactors.